If you've been in the Aubin community for the past few years, you definitely know about the corner clip and how it got fixed back in 2021. It was basically a glitch that allowed the player to teleport through a wall if you are pointed at a corner. This fix was big news to the Aubin community, and many even considered this the death of Aubies. Luckily, Aubies didn't die and neither did a ton more glitches. Some that might be common and some that might be extremely rare to encounter. In this video, we'll cover some obby and glitches and explain how they work. Don't forget to subscribe and join the Discord. The dance clip is one of the most popular on this list. With it being present in a lot of popular obby games such as Jato and the Impossible obby. And it's very popular in difficulty chart obbies where you'll find a dance clip in almost every game you play. The dance clip is a glitch that involves doing the slash E dance 2 emote. Then turning your camera and simply clipping through the wall. The reason this works is because when the character is doing the emote, it teleports slightly to the side. So if you rotate your camera at the exact moment it teleports, you can clip to the other side. The thickest wall that can be clipped through using this glitch is a 0.9 stud wall, so just keep that in mind when trying to get through 15 stud walls on your next obby. Similarly to the dance clip, this also uses an emote to clip through a wall. And as you might have already guessed, it's the laugh emote. This clip works because the laugh emote makes the character lean backwards, and right as the character is fully leaned, you can turn the camera and press shift lock. The laugh clip is not as consistent as the dance clip though, because it's common for the torso of the character to get stuck between the wall that's being clipped through. This can result in a drop and fail, or you could just get stuck and you would have to reset your character to get out. With the laugh clip, you can clip through a one stud wall unlike the dance clip. This could be really useful in a lot of situations, but keep in mind that it is harder. The wall hop is a trick that allows the character to jump in midair. Yeah, I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. This glitch works when there are two or more bricks placed vertically. The character can jump towards the wall, and when your legs reach the part where the bricks separate, you need to flick your camera 90 degrees and press jump. This will give you another jump mid-air, and it can go on infinitely. As I mentioned in one of my previous videos, this is a popular trick for run saves in the tower game Jato, as shown in this video. Speaking of Jato, the wall hop has its specific part in the infamous tower called Citadel Void. This part of the obby takes extreme concentration and precision to be able to complete. While on the topic of wall hops, I can also mention wall walks, which are simply wall hops, just a lot harder because you can jump. When performing a wall walk, there's usually a wall placed right above you, so you can get height from the wall hop. This trick is extremely difficult, but it gets easier on laggier computers. The truss flick and ladder flick are really similar, yet quite different at the same time. So I'll just explain the difference between them. But first, I'll explain the actual idea of the trick. The truss or ladder flick is a flick where you turn your camera 90 degrees when reaching the top of the truss and jumping. This will give you another jump instead of getting bounced off like you usually would on a truss or ladder when simply jumping. The difference between these two is that you can only flick on the top, or if there's a bottom brick, on the bottom of the truss, whereas the ladder flick is made up of many bricks placed together with a one stud space in between. This means that you could ladder flick off any part of the ladder. Another thing that's different is that it's a lot easier to fall off ladders than trusses. Ladders are just a lot more jankier and aren't intended like trusses. The lag high jump is an advanced version of the high jump, which I decided not to include in this video. 
but you can play some obbies with it in the obby community discord server linked in the description. This high jump launches the character even higher in the air. The way it works is by pressing the top of the Roblox tab when jumping. By pressing the top of the Roblox tab, Roblox completely freezes, as long as you're still clicking it. For some reason, this can make it so the character gets launched a lot higher than it should be able to go. This glitch is hated by a lot of obby builders, simply because of how OP it is. It's even possible to do when ladder and trust clicking. And a lot of JTO towers can be easily abused with this glitch, resulting in nerfed soul question completions. The head glide is a very unpopular and pretty much a useless glitch. To perform the head glide, your character needs to get its head stuck between a 0.5 stud or less brick, which is pretty hard to find, so good luck with that. Once you get into this position, you are officially in the head glide, and now you need to make it to the end. And this is the hardest part. The head glide is extremely hard to control. It simply just moves by itself and you can just hope that it drops you on the right side. Some people have tried using it in actual lobbies, though it's really difficult to implement. The ledge grab is probably the most used trick on this list. It's used to perform jumps where there's a brick above your head, meaning you can't jump far enough. So the ledge grab is a trick that is performed by going to the edge of a platform, turning your screen and hanging off the brick, then simply jumping and your head won't hit the roof anymore, letting you complete the jump. The ledge grab is widely popular in tiered obbies and Jato, because it actually takes skill to do unlike many others on this list. You can encounter a lot of these jumps in jank style obbies, which are obbies with bricks oriented in weird positions. The ledge grab can be even made on spheres and wedges. The lodge is probably the most complex trick on this list. To perform it, you need to jump into a 1.5 stud space in a sideways position, then straighten your character. This will make you float in between the two bricks. Although if you slightly move your camera, the lodge can start moving you forward, where it can eventually drop you. And that's when you finish the lodge. In Roblox Hobbying, there's a list called the Top Jumps list that ranks all the hardest jumps ever landed on Roblox. The Discord server will be linked in the description of this video. But basically, the lodge is very popular among these jumps, at times even having three lodges in a row, in a single jump. Because of the lodge's sheer difficulty, it's easy for builders to simply add it to their jumps to try and make the hardest jump on Roblox. The fling is a glitch that flings the character, simple as that. There are two main ways to perform a fling. First, being the regular fling, where you bump your head near the edge of a head hitter brick. After getting close to the edge, you will eventually get flung away. And the other, an easier one, being the wedge fling where if there is a brick with a wedge placed on top of it, you can go near the low side and start jumping. This will fling your character just like the first method did. You probably won't find much flings in Roblox obbies, but you might come across some when playing a tech obby of some sort. The body drag is probably the most unpopular glitch in this list. It's performed by sliding on a wall, like shown in this video. The reason it's so unpopular in obbies is because of the construction it needs for it actually to work properly. It needs a brick and a wedge under it. Before we get to the last glitch, I want to invite you all to an event in an adventure-based RPG with a chance to win 1000 Robux. The World After is a game set in an apocalyptic future where monsters have overran the world. To help players survive in this new world, everyone is given a unique ability at the start of the game. Unlike other RPGs, it focuses more on exploration with puzzles and bosses hidden throughout the world. It's been in development for over a year now, 
and a new biome is coming very soon. If you're interested in winning 1000 Robux, make sure to join the Discord server for more info about the event. And finally, the freeze bounce is very similar to the lag high jump, but with the height being buffed by a lot. The freeze jump is only possible when falling from a high surface. When the character starts nearing the ground, you need to press the top of the Roblox tab for it to freeze. Then let it go and you will get a huge jump boost. You will also never see this in any tiered obby, although it could be possible in some towers. The freeze bounce is mostly seen in difficulty chart obbies when running out of jump ideas. Comment which was your favorite obby glitch and why. Don't forget to subscribe and join the discord for future video updates.